Hey guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here and welcome again to another reaction video. And in today's video, we are going to react not to a statue, but we're going to react to an action figure, a very premium, high quality action figure from Queen Studios. But before we get into the details and the price and all of that, all that information, we're going to look at this video from Queen Studios. And I will have the link in the description for those who are interested to watch this video on their own. And definitely there's going to be a lot that we can react to here. Of course, this is in Chinese, um, but we're going to read the, the titles. I didn't know the Queen Studios owner was that young. He is very young. This is a great start for sure. They call it the In Art Line. That's an interesting name. It looks good from here. Man, definitely good for one six scale figure. The likeness. Viper. He's very young as well. Probably in the early 20s. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be a tough competition with Hot Toys, Blizzway, and there's others that I just don't escape my mind, but there is plenty. That is true. And also we know like J and D is coming into this realm, so that's gonna be another one. It's gonna be a tough tough battle the next couple of months and next couple of years with these companies. Oh look at that. Wow. They're gonna use magnets instead of the classic peg. Oh, that's very neat. Man, that's neat. See all the parts that come with it? Oh, wow, die cast. That's good. Man. Looks pretty good. Love the portrait. Better than the Blissway statue. What was that? The one third scale? The Blissway and Prime One Studio? Look at. Oh, wow. Look. Also, the eyes are movable. That's neat. An alternate purple coat. Okay. So, the regular is going to have something. You know, you can change the clothing, which is. That's cool. They're very tiny. I like the base. That's nice. The bar, the cell, and all that. Look at that, the detail. Of course, it's a prototype, but man. Man, this is a really nice joker for sure. 
I like the base, I like the concept and the presentation there. It looks like a mini statue for sure. Man, the lightning is spot on. And that's just the that's the one that is sculpted, and then you have the rooted one. They both look great. The rooted hair is going to be an interesting one. But the sculpted one is not slouch for sure. Look at that. Tough choice, man. I'll all about in the end it's all about how much you're willing to pay <laughs> love the weapons man look like the statue like the bliss way prime one with a much better portrait wow yep man that is pretty sweet Oh, so they're gonna employ other artists too. Oh,所以他们要雇佣一些艺术家一起参与到我们的设计制作。哦，所以他们要雇佣一些艺术家一起参与到我们的设计制作。哦，所以他们要雇佣一些艺术家一起参与到我们的设计制作。哦，所以他
And definitely I love the tailoring in his clothing. Looks pretty, pretty neat. Definitely the pants are good. The face is good. The base as a whole is really nice. Yeah, this 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 definitely a nice looking figure for sure. And I love the pictures that they're using here with all the little details, the weapons, the money. Now he's ready to clap. All of that is really, really neat for sure. I'm really liking this piece overall. And of course, you can go just for the singular one and you can change, take the code and do all that. I'm displaying a different way, which is nice. But if you want to have two different pieces to display them in two different ways, different scenes, I think that's the reason why you go for the other one. So here, as you can see, again, the sculpted one, pretty much $609. And one good thing about um, Spec Vision is that they offer the flex pay, which allows you to pay over time. Uh, Toys Wonderland does the same thing. They have their own system. But here we have the rooted hair. And yes, I totally understand that how premium this look. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure if paying a difference of $400 makes it, a, it gives you more bang for your buck. Uh, it makes it a much better value. I, I'm very undecided about it. It's more about you wanted, wanting to have something different and unique. And I think well, in the end, collectors want things that are different and unique and i totally understand it's more about you the desire to have something that is collectible but not necessarily you're getting the best or you're getting something so that is going to blow people's minds you know yes it might look good but it's not the ultimate thing and it's not the first time we have seen pieces with rooted hair like for example just recently we got the asthma's toys gandalf that has the rooted hair and has the, the beard and all that it has a lot of hair and that piece is top is $350. You can still find it at SciShow. You can find it in many other places. $350 and he has a lot of hair, more than this guy here. So in my opinion, yes, you know, of course that it still has the same old joint systems and all of that. But I believe that if they were able to manage $150 for that piece, I would say that this can go high too because of the rooted hair. It can be more expensive than just the, the sculpted hair. But I don't think that deserves $400 more because I'm talking about the hair, that doesn't mean that I'm trying to say that this piece doesn't deserve to be in a collection, that it's not worth the money. I think it's worth, everything is worth whatever you decide that is worth. You know, if you're a type of collector that you want something different, and definitely there's a lot of uniqueness in this. This is the first piece that they're producing on this line. A lot of collectors are talking about it. There's a lot of people happy and excited. There's a lot of people already pre-ordering this. So to be honest with you, it's going to do well. It's going to do well. The sculpt is good. The design is good so far. Queen Studios is a good company. They've been doing amazing stuff on the statue side. So I know that on, they're going to bring the same level of quality, the same level of detail, and the same fun attitude that they have with the stuff they produce in statues. They're going to bring it into the action figures and believe me so far this piece has a lot of pluses you know it's a fun piece for sure a very nice looking it surpasses what you know in this case hot toys did you know honestly it did surpass what hot toys and yes hot, that piece is hard to come by but in my opinion this is a much better deal and te technically if you want to look for that one you're gonna end up paying amount, around the same amount of money for this one so might as well just go for this one you know because this is a new thing and definitely this idea and this concept that we have now with just having you know the magnets that's a very different very unique style that definitely is going to push the companies to produce the same level of quality in my opinion i prefer to have magnets because believe me those little peg joints uh those are it could be a pain in the butt you know they're, they're laying around they break easily you have to trans you know transform you have to replace them you know there's a lot of things that can go wrong with them i will say the root of hair is nice the concept of having the root of hair is very very nice but in my opinion it's not unique if you are thinking right now on the side of where to go, I will say, if you're already on the side of then I will say just go for the cheaper version. If you only need one Joker, go for the, in this case with Toys Wonderland, or you can order it also through uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I'm sure all the stores are gonna have it. Order that. It's gonna have all the pluses. It's definitely going to be the best Joker. I'm thinking about ordering myself. Now, if you have a lot of money to burn and you want something very unique and different and top of the line, then go for the deluxe version. But if Keep in mind, you're paying $400 more just for a little bit of strands of hair. To me, that's not much value. Of course, it's just my opinion. Everyone is different. Regardless of what you choose, I think this is the best Heath Ledger Joker figure in the market. And to be honest with you, even the sculpt is better than all the statues that have talked about for a while, unless you're talking about a bus. 
is better than all the statues that we have seen so far in one third scale so ultimately price wise i definitely think that the, the the better option is just buying one or buying the premium bundle that has the two also with the sculpted hair i think that's the best choice now if you want to go for the root hair by all means you know i think it's a great piece as well it's beautiful i just don't think it's worth that much money but what is your opinion my friends what do you think about this piece are you a fan you're not a fan are you agree you agree with my opinion you disagree with it let me know in the comments below so once again my friends thanks for watching don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe to the channel hit the notification button to remind of the next video follow me on social media facebook twitter instagram the links are down below and please consider supporting the channel financially through patreon my friends god bless you take care i will talk to you again bye bye